Presenting the Qi Shi House Within Beijing's central old neighborhood, in a Houghton, is where the renovation project is situated. It is a modest Siheyuan, which is a type of traditional Chinese home, with three courtyards that measure a combined total of 15 and 42 meters for length and breadth, respectively. Its address in the Hutong is 7, and it previously had seven pitched roof structures, hence the name Chisha, Qi and Shi translate to seven and house, respectively, in Chinese. Before refurbishment, the Sihayuan was outdated and in poor condition. The majority of the roofs, walls, doors, and windows were severely damaged or vanished, but the basic wooden beams and a few arched door openings in the Republican era were still present. There were numerous temporary architectural blocks placed in the three courtyards many years ago. After tearing down those blocks, the yards were overrun with weeds and other construction debris, making for a depressing sight. The architectural firm Arch Studio identified two objectives as it approached the project, restoring the old and incorporating the modern. To replicate the appearance of the traditional Siheyuan, the designers, on the one hand, cleaned up the homes, fixed all the building surfaces, and strengthened the structural elements. On the other hand, they added new living spaces and amenities including toilets, kitchens, garages, vac pipes, and veranda areas. To better fulfill future functional demands for reception and living in the compound, the old and new have been merged into a new whole. In order to connect the seven divided pitched roof buildings in the historic Siheyuan, Arch Studio incorporated a veranda, a fundamental component of traditional Chinese architecture. The veranda serves as a circulation path, alters the spatial layout and strata, and offers delightful views in addition to a pleasurable walking experience. The entrance courtyard serves primarily as a garage. In order to make more room for parking, Arch Studio kept its pitched roof, demolished the front and back walls, and repositioned the entrance door to the side. Many priceless historical components, like the gateway, the carvings on the arch door entrance, and even a dry tree, were repaired and maintained by the design team. In addition, a translucent veranda took the place of the wall that divided the front and middle courtyards. The veranda has a curved plane with variants that reflect various environments and space uses. It closely resembles the curving edges of the pitched roofs, creating a number of transparent up-shaped areas that unite the buildings, surroundings, and sky into a one image. The veranda's roof was bent downward in the front courtyard to create a curving wall, behind which are some useful areas, such as the lavatory, service room, equipment room, and so on. The central courtyard is used for public gatherings. Three houses used to be on it, two on the sides and one to the north. Arch Studio put up a living room, a tea room, a dining room, a kitchen, etc. in this space based on the original arrangement. The architects used a symmetrical spatial arrangement that carries over the formality of conventional courtyard structures. In addition, they installed gradual slopes in place of the old stairs leading to dwellings. The outdoor courtyard and the interior rooms are better connected thanks to the slopes and translucent veranda. The dining area features a sliding door that can be opened completely to the patio, extending indoor activities there as well. An arch door that was restored and serves as the entrance to the back patio is located in the center of the dining room's back wall. Two bedrooms, a tea room, and a study make up most of the living area in the back garden. It shares the same original design as the middle courtyard. This area's veranda has an undulating surface that interacts with the three existing old trees in the courtyard and simultaneously creates a number of tiny arc-shaped seating areas. The bedrooms are located in the back and have a symmetrical spatial structure that follows the crest of the roof. 
Each bedroom has a bathroom that is close to a tiny garden, which guarantees good lighting and ventilation. The project's material design successfully blends the old and the new. In order to show the contrast and fusion between the new and the old, Arch Studio appropriately added certain new materials while preserving the textures of ancient architectural materials. The Sihayuan's original pine wood framework was preserved, and the same pine wood was used to replace any damaged parts. Laminated bamboo panels, a new material that mimics old pine wood and feels like steel, are used on the new veranda, doors, windows, and some furnishings. In order to optimize transparency and lightness as well as better blend into the existing building, the newly constructed veranda utilizes a frame structure with ribbed beams and panels on the ceiling. Regarding interior design, Arch Studio introduced numerous combinations of furniture made of fresh or old wood, demonstrating a flawless blending of diverse hues and textures. Traditional pitched roofs had inadequate thermal insulation and didn't employ any new waterproof materials. Arch Studio optimized the roof system and performance with the idea of keeping the original grey tile roofing in mind. The designers used smooth polymer mortar to finish the curved roof of the newly constructed veranda, which contrasts with the nearby textured tile rooftops. The grey bricks from the destroyed temporary architectural blocks in the courtyards were used to rebuild the ancient building walls. To maintain visual coherence, the flooring of outdoor areas is paved with the same kind of bricks. Glass bricks, which are the same size as the old grey bricks, are used to construct some of the new walls. Unexpectedly discovered when building, some stone slices, Crocs and a millstone were later used as stairs, flowerpots and ornaments. Making chairs out of the leftover wooden beams from the repair of the building gives ancient materials a second chance. The Chisha House is a testament to the enduring legacy of the Chinese, and a reminder of the importance of preserving and celebrating our cultural heritage. As we continue to embrace modernity and progress, it is vital that we remember and honor the traditions and customs that have shaped us, and the Chisha House is a shining example of this. Thanks for staying till the end. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel for more content.